dear students in course code hot hot 508 plant propagation nursery management for fruit crop in this lecture we are going to discuss about use of plant growth regulators in plant propagation first of all we should be aware about the plant growth regulators what are these the plant growth regulators have been an important component in agriculture production and are now used in various aspects of agriculture especially the plant propagation in horticultural crops they are responsible to control the growth and development in plants and uh, can be defined as an organic compound synthesized in one part of the plant and translocated to another part where in low concentration it brings physiological response the low concentration that is possibly less than 1 micro m so it is very less concentration and uh, at this concentration even they are able to alter the physiology of the plant this may be natural in the and isolated from the plant or may be synthesized so there are five major categories of plant growth regulators auxins gibberellins cytokinin cytokinin and abscisic acid which we will discuss one by one oxygen are generally produced in the apical portion of the stems and roots from where they migrate to the site of action or the region where they have to bring their action indole acetic acid is the main oxygen in most of the plant where it may be present as a 4 chloro ia in several species it is synthesized from tryptophan one of the important amino acid in the leaf primordia and young leaves and in the developing seeds it is being transported from cell to cell and to the root through the phloem tissues so the phloem is the key part which is responsible for transportation of oxygen in addition to iaa indole butyric acid that is iba has also been isolated from plants 2,4-D like 2,4-dichlorophenoxy acetic acid and uh, Na naphthalene acetic acids are also oxygen under synthetic categories. Oxygen can perform a number of functions including stimulation of cell elongation, stimulation of cell division in cambium and in combination with cytokinin in tissue culture however in specific to the propagation it is having many functions one of which is 
initiation of roots in stem cutting and lateral root development in tissue culture so always in tissue culture high proportion of auxin to cytokinin is responsible to bring initiation of root or development of root primordia it is also responsible for regulating the differentiation of xylem tissues and phloem tissues it is the key factor in apicon dominance in the plants where the apical growth of a plant is dominated over the lateral bud de development so it is having inhibitory action over the lateral bud development in grafting also auxin is responsible to promote formation of callus tissues which is essential for establishment of graft union the another important plant growth regulator is gibberellin which is well known for existence of and gibberellin gibberellin structure in the skeletal component of various kind of gibberellins these are acidic in nature and may be denoted with ga1 3 2 and so on most widely available compound is ga3 and is a fungal product obtained from gibberella fusicorae however the most important ga in plant is ga1 Gibberellic acid is primarily responsible for stem elongation. These are synthesized from mevalonic acid pathway in young tissues of shoots and developing seeds. It is probably transported in the phloem and xylem. and in active form bring physiological effects depending on its structure some of the physiological events that are that are regulated by gibberellin are elongation of stem by stimulating cell division and cell elongation stimulation of flowering in response to long days that's why it is also called as flowering hormones it induces maleness in dioecious flower it is responsible for development of parthenocarpic fruit and delay the senescence process however in form of its physiological response for propagation purpose it is responsible for breaking of bud and seed dormancy and mobilizing the stored materials for active growth of dormant buds and germination of seeds it is also required for stratification or light to induce germination
Zibrilin does not have much more important role in plant propagation except germination of seeds. The next plant growth regulator is cytokinin which are adenine derivatives and are characterized by ability to induce cell division in tissue culture. The most common cytokinin base in plant is zetine. They are they also occur as ribocytes and or ribotides. and are reported in root tips and developing seeds. They are transported through xylem from root to shoot. A number of cytokinins like kinetine and benzyladenine are being utilized for plant propagation purpose because of their important properties especially the cell division stimulation to the morphogenesis particularly suit suit initiation and bud formation in tissue culture it also responsible for breaking the seed dormancy and bud break It has a positive effect over apical dominance and promotes the growth of lateral bird. It facilitates formation of adventitious shoot and lateral shoot growth. And in combination with auxine is responsible for development of shoots and roots in tissue culture. Abscisic acid is a growth inhibitor and is synthesized in stem, leaves, roots and seeds of the plants that is various part of the plants. Mostly it works as antagonist to gibralic acid. It is well known as stress hormone and is helpful to overcome the stress condition by developing abscission and allowing the leaves to fall. The exogenous application of ABA inhibits the growth in plant. ABA is synthesized from mevalonic acid path in roots and mature leaves. particularly in response to water stress. ABA is exported from roots in the xylem and from leaf in the phloem. It is responsible to bring various physiological response like stimulation of opening and closing of stomata by inducing closing closing it helps in maturation and development of seeds it inhibits root growth but will not have much effect on roots and may even promote growth of roots. It induces seeds to synthesize storage protein and induce the dormancy The induction of dormancy is helpful to store the seeds for longer period of time. 
It also induces gene transcription especially for proteinase inhibitors in response to wound which confirms its possible role in pathogen defense. Ethylene is a gaseous hormone which is considered as one of the common ripening hormone and is synthesized from amino acid methionine in the tissues in response to stress. A crucial intermediate in the path of ethylene synthesis is one amino cyclopropane one carboxylic acid that is called as ACC. and can be transported and may be accountable for ethylene effect at a distance from the causal stimulus. Ethylene role in plant propagation is remote. However, some of the important activities or functions can be promotion of sprouting in potato tubers and breaking of dormancy of seeds and bird. It affects horizontal growth of seedlings and swelling of the excess in dicot seedlings. It also increases root hair formation and growth, thus aids plants to expand their surface area by absorption. This also confirms the ethylene mediated role of auxin for root initiation in cutting. In addition to this there are many role which we can elaborate but these roles has to be dealt in detail in another course and is out of the scope of this subject. So this is all for today. Thank you.